probably the most popular hydroponic production system used in Florida greenhouse vegetable crops is the system known as soilless culture. In the case of soilless culture, we can choose from several different types of soilless media and also several different kinds of container arrangements. In those systems, we've been able to do extremely well with our main traditional vegetable crops. Things like tomatoes and cucumbers do very well in soilless culture. You have several different styles of containers that can be used and also several different types of media that we're going to cover in another area. All of these media and container systems will perform very similarly for that particular crop. So the choices of which media and which container an individual grower would use generally is based upon the cost of that media and also the availability of that media in that particular area. We have traditionally used soilless media systems like rock wool. Uh, rock wool was originally developed in Holland and has made its way over the, uh, into North America and was one of the original container soilless media systems that has been used here in Florida. In addition to rock wool, we've had an awful lot of perlite that has been used in these, in these bags and container systems. We also more recently have had transition into things like composted pine bark. And so there's a number of different choices, all of which have produced similar yields for crops like tomatoes and cucumbers. In these two systems here, we have the configuration of containers that would be the, what we would know as the lay-flat bags. And these lay-flat bags lie relatively flat on the floor or the, the uh, system that would hold the bags, and we would plant the crop into these bags. In this case, either perlite or rock wool would be included in those standard kinds of lay-flat types of systems. The irrigation is brought into the bag through these individual emitters, and then the excess is drained out from slits that are cut into the bottoms of the bags. And that's the way that the irrigation nutrient solution, solution would be delivered really in all of these types of containers. The excess would be drained away. The other style of containers that are used are generally in the category that we know as upright containers. And Mike's gonna tell us a little bit more about soilless culture in upright containers. Yes, Bob, there are several upright containers being used for soilless media culture uh, in Florida. We've got some examples here of the containers being used. Nursery pots are readily available, the Beto buckets, and the upright bags, the polyethylene bags. The important thing here is to have a, a container that will allow for three to five gallon capacity of the media that you choose to use. Uh, and some of the medias that, that we have here, we have a peat-based soilless uh, media. Uh, in, in the first one here, we have uh, composted pine bark, and we have uh, horticultural perlite that will all be discussed later. Irrigation is very important. We're using the same system you described here uh, with the emitters in each pot, and drainage is something that needs to be considered. You have to have uh, adequate drainage to allow the excess nutrients to flush out of the, the pot. The final type of container system we'll discuss is the large open trough system. This is a commercially manufactured um, system here today. These uh, commercially manufactured systems are readily available today. A lot of times they're actually originally developed in Israel, but if you went back 20 or 30 years ago, these open troughs were still used in hydroponic production system all over the world, and a lot of times they were built out of lumber and lined with plastic. And uh, today, these commercially manufactured troughs make it a lot easier for the grower to get in and out of production. That's right, Bob. And you can use any of the media that we discussed earlier. Uh, it's really the grower's preference, what is available, and the cost issue comes in at that point. Uh, we want to remember the media needs to be at a depth of around six inches to allow for adequate uh, root system development. One of the things that is of special interest for these open troughs is if a grower is trying to be a, a certified organic producer, we can use some of these media like a composted pine bark or perlite. Both are able to be used in a certified organic production system. And in our case, we have been able to demonstrate the use of these open troughs with drip irrigation tape to deliver water only. And because the troughs are open, we can then go back and apply 
the organic fertilizer materials that would be required for certification. So these open troughs are especially attractive to our organic producers here in the state of Florida that also want to combine organics and hydroponics together.